going on guys this is one hand tech back with another review for you today we're gonna to be taking a look at another X4 life uh, personal security equipment product this is the PIR motion sensor alarm um, PIR motion sensors are used in a lot of uh, alarm systems and it's used to detect motion within a given range uh, PIR is a passive infrared sensor and what it does is it measures the infrared um, radiation coming off of objects and just like us as being humans uh, we emit heat um, that heat is emitted in the form of infrared waves and what this does is through a sensor it detects whenever those infrared waves are being emitted uh, within its field of view now uh, this is a pretty cool little product uh, it was sent to me by CMG Global just like the other ones uh, but this one you control remotely uh, you can arm it when you leave the house you can uh, disarm it when you get home and it also has some delay features that uh, allow you to leave and come in to disarm it uh, without it going off so it's not automatically also it has a cup it has two different modes it can be set on. It can be set on as an alarm uh, that will emit a 120 decibel uh, alarm siren whenever it goes off or it can be used as a sort of chime. Uh, you see this in a lot of the low-end stores and stuff. I know whenever we went to like New York City you walk in the door you hear a little chime go off and that's pretty much what this does. It'll once something crosses its field of view that emits those infrared waves then it'll just send out like a little doorbell chime and uh, let you know somebody crossed the path now on the front of the packaging you can see that it it claims it has a six meter distance a sensor distance and an alarm gain of 120 decibels well, most of the other literature on the front is in German uh, so we can't really tell what it is but it looks like it comes with uh, three AA batteries and one CR2032 battery the three AA batteries are going to be for the PIR sensor itself and the CR2032 battery is going to be for the key fob now moving around to the back of the product now uh, we can now see uh, the only thing it says in the English is as far as description goes is it's a motion detector alarm with remote control also works as a PIR chime or panic alarm all the batteries that are needed are included it has an audio and a visual cues for when the alarm goes off 120 decibel alarm signal and a red blinking LED the LED also shows when the battery is low um, and it lists the delays for entry and exit uh, the entry delay is 30 seconds so that means you have 30 seconds to turn the PIR sensor off once you come in and it's been activated and the exit delay is 45 seconds so what you do is you arm this before you leave the house and the alarm will give you 45 seconds to leave um, before it starts detecting the alarm duration once the alarm has been triggered and it starts going off it'll go off for 30 seconds Detection range is 6 meters. Detection angles is 110 degrees horizontal and 70 degrees vertically. Alright guys, um, here's everything that comes in the package. Now you are going to get the PIR sensor, the key fob, the mounting hardware, mounting bracket, a user's manual, and also three AA batteries. Uh, they keep rolling around on the table so I just picked them up. Alright, here we got a good look at the uh, mounting bracket. Uh, the PIR sensor is going to slide on right here on this piece. Uh, it is a ball swivel mount so you can articulate it to hang it in any fashion that you'd like. Uh, it is secured to the wall by two screws, one at the top one at the bottom. And on the back there's pretty much nothing. Uh, one thing I do see though is that this ball mount, if you want a more low, low profile or 
use it in something else. Um, the ball mount assembly itself comes out of the wall mount piece. And so if you have another idea how to mount this uh, on another project or something, that's definitely possible to use this mount. And here we go with the key fob. Uh, the key fob is pretty small, similar to um, those little swiper cards that you get at the grocery store, uh, rewards cards and stuff like that. Uh, and it has an arm and a disarm button. And it looks like an indication LED there. Some branding. Nothing on this side. At the top you got an infrared emitter. On this side you have a chime and alarm selection switch. And then the, the keychain. Um, right here you slide open the battery door. Go ahead and do that so we can get that plastic piece out of there. Alright, there we go. That should be working. There you can see the light coming on when I press the button. So I need that. It is working. Alright, here we got the PIR sensor itself. On the front, you can see the infrared sensor here. Now right here is going to be the speaker for the alarm and chime. The LED notification is down here. And this is probably the infrared receiver for the uh, key fob. On the side, there's not much. This side, not much. Top, nothing. Bottom, nothing. And on the back, you have the battery door that is secured by a screw and the mount system here. All right, now I'm going to show you how to mount the, the bracket. You got the back piece here, you get your little bracket, and it just slides into the two, or the, it's got two on each side, four total. You just slide it in and slide it up. Once you slide it up, it'll sort of click into place. And then you can articulate this to face any direction that you would like. Alright guys, now I got the batteries installed, um, but if you can look here, there's a learn button in here. Now this makes me think that you can learn any of the key fobs that use uh, infrared. So you don't necessarily have to use the one that came with it, although that's um, highly advisable. But any infrared controller can probably do. Uh, it'd be very easy to, to hack in since it has the ability to learn. Um, uh, the infrared signals uh, but in the instructions it does say to press the learn button on the the infrared detector and then get the key fob pointed at the detector I got the key fob here and press arm and that short beep lets you know that it has been learned and the light stops blinking on the receiver itself. So uh, let's get the battery compartment back on and then we'll test it out see how it works. Now here's something else I just want to share with you guys uh, that just goes to show the build quality of these products. The battery door is held on by a screw um, but and as cheap as it, this product is only $12.99 on Amazon at CMG Global's uh, storefront but even they even put a metal insert for the screw threads instead of just being snapped together or uh, screwed into plastic and so it's gonna it's gonna stay secure a lot longer than uh, some of the other products would and the fact that they take that much attention to detail on a, a low price product like this is it's pretty cool I like seeing that kind of stuff just thought I'd show you guys that alright we have the PIR sensor motion alarm sitting here now getting ready to test the usability make sure everything works correctly now uh, first off I, I'm just setting this up on the table on the the mounting bracket that it comes with uh, I got the key fob here and all we got to do is select the mode that we want to use which is on the side of the key fob 
right here, a chime or alarm. And we're going to start with the chime one to see what it sounds like. Now with the chime one, uh, once you hit alarm, it is armed. It, there's no delay in detection or anything. Uh, it'll start detecting as soon as you press the arm button. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll try to stay still as much as I can. That way we don't set it off. And we set it off anyway. I'll go ahead and move around a little bit, see if we can set it off. It's a nice, nice loud tone, not too annoying. I mean, it'd be annoying if it went off all the time, but if you want to know when somebody's like uh, coming down your driveway or something, uh, you could hook it up to an external speaker that's in your house, and it would be able to detect, be able to detect movement outside. Or you can know if somebody's walking up to your door before uh, they even get there to knock or ring the doorbell. Go ahead and go ahead and disarm the chime. I just hit the disarm button once, and now I can move around freely without setting it off. Now we're going to go ahead and switch it to alarm mode. Now this mode here um, will give us after we hit the arm button will give us 45 seconds to leave the premises before the alarm starts uh, detecting. After detection is uh, found, or after motion is found, then you'll have 30 seconds to hit the disarm button or the alarm will go off. And uh, the 120 decibel alarm that we had before was the water leakage alarm. That's pretty loud. And so, uh, I'm only going to let it go off for a second, and then I'm going to disarm it. Now, once the alarm goes off, it will continue to go off for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, it'll scan for movement again. If it detects movement again, then it'll go off again. And, and it'll keep recycling that pattern until the disarm button is pressed. So let's go ahead and hit arm, and then stay still for... 45 seconds. Now you can see the red LED is flashing to let us know that it is in uh, the exit mode. All right, now the light is, has gone off and now we can test the alarm. I'm not moving at all right at the moment. And once I start moving, uh, the alarm should go off. If the alarm goes off, I'm going to hold the disarm button and and make it shut off because I don't want to hear it too long. It's going to be pretty loud. All right, here we go. Now it has started the uh, 30 seconds uh, disarm timer. Um, that flashing light lets us know that the motion has been detected. Um, infrared waves have been picked up and it's going to start going off on 30 seconds after it's detected. And once it starts going off, I'm going to immediately shut it off because I don't want it to go off too much. Ooh, that was really loud. It's a very unique tone. Uh, definitely going to scare people off or at least alert people that there is something going on that shouldn't be going on. Uh, here's everything that comes in the package again. Uh, you get the PIR sensor, uh, the base that's attached to the back of the sensor right now, the three AA batteries uh, that is installed in the sensor right now, uh, the user's manual, the mounting equipment, and the key fob. Now, um, this is a really, really simple to use product. Simple to install, uh, simple to use, has multi functions. It can do the chime, it can do the alarm. The alarm is uh, very, very loud and it has a distinctive uh, tone. Now, also, it has visual cues uh, to let you know your entry time, your exit time, and whenever the alarm goes off, it also flashes the LED. Um, this would be very easy to hack and add a external speaker to 
uh, so you can have it mounted outside. If you have uh, a covered porch or something, you can put it out there. Um, but essentially, it'd be used really good for inside the house. Now, uh, this product you can find on Amazon at the CMG Global uh, storefront. It does cost $12.99, uh, but that's a small price, I think, for what you get. Uh, it's not just limited to one function. You can use it for multiple different things, and the ease of use is awesome. I mean, anybody can put get this thing up and running in a matter of minutes. Uh, so the price is definitely worth it. The attention to detail and the type of engineering you get on these products uh, definitely makes the price more attractive and uh, puts them above a lot of the other uh, competitive offerings, uh, especially at this price range. Well, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for the X4 Life uh, motion PIR motion detector sensor. Um, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe uh, so you guys can see all the other products that I have coming out. I got a few more X for Life products coming uh, to do the reviews on and then I'm going to do a uh, tear down of all of them and get some, maybe take some of these components out and use them in uh, Arduino projects. And I also have a couple uh, develop more, or development boards or single board computers that I can use those sensors with. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, that subscribe button, if you hit that, it'll make sure that you guys stay up to date with all of my uh, current reviews and unboxings that I have coming out. I also have a gaming chair I'm getting ready to post here soon. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, make sure you leave them down below. And I'll make sure that uh, I can get to, get to them as soon as possible. You guys have a good one.